As crews and residents continue to keep pushing through the debris left behind from last night's tornado, more residents throughout Bartow County continue to tell their survival stories. CBS 46's Tori Cooper on the ground with details on how residents are trying to clean up the mess. There's a lot of work to be done, Tori. Yeah, and they tell me that it's going to take a very long time. I want to show you some of the damage that we've been seeing all day long. Look at this carport on top of the car. The trampoline now on top of the motorhome. This has been a common theme all day long, but I want to show you other parts of this destructive path that we have seen here. Just look over my shoulder. The power lines nearly right at eye level. There's an absolute mess of trees here just trying to be able to access the street behind us. We had to climb through some of that debris just to talk to other residents who say they're just trying to piece together a way forward. Residents say there was no warning. There was no sound or anything. The, the next thing I heard was this big crackling and boom, boom, and then the ceiling fell right down on top of me. For 42 years, Edwina Wood has lived in this house along Bishop Road in Barstow County. And now, this is what's left of it. I don't really think it's really hit me. The blaring tornado from last night sending howling winds roaring across her neighborhood, tearing apart backyards like this, leaving thousands of residents without power or water who depend on it. I have four bottles of insulin in my Refrigerated. Many senior residents like Lorena Albanese without transportation or their medication and a massive cleanup job. Basically our shed just got uprooted and is now in the neighbor's yard. Others spent the night digging through debris to pull their neighbors to safety. I had to crawl through all that mess. So. While others were trying to find their way through the mess to work. Mother Nature throwing them off course and into trees like this. Everything just happened so fast. I mean, I hit the brakes. It was coming along fine, but I was going too fast. I should have been driving slower. When I come across the, the hill, it was just there. So I hit the brakes and I thought I could go around it, but when my lights shone that it was like all the way across the street, there was nothing I could do but hit it. Power lines a tangled mess for crews who work to restore power to residents who are now beginning to pick up the pieces to their life. There's only one thing I really have to say. It's only by the grace of God that I am alive today. Now, at last check, crews said they are aiming to get power back up and running by 10 p.m., but of course that could change, and we will update you as we learn more. Reporting live in Bartow, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.